Our next speaker will be Mr. Robert Ferrar, for correction, Mr. Ben Newman. I, uh, I want to start by telling you that this is one of the biggest honors and humbling experiences I've ever had in my life as a speaker. I've traveled the world doing motivational speaking. I've had the opportunity to write a few books. And after the latest release of our last book, Own Your Success, in August, I received an email from Dr. Ben Moses, an Italian surgeon here, and an old high school classmate of mine. And he asked me if I would be willing to hop on a plane from St. Louis, Missouri, my home, and come and have the opportunity to be with each and every one of you. And I couldn't have responded any faster to say absolutely it would be an honor to come and have a small act of service to the individuals that are the true faces of freedom of our country. And I don't, I don't take that lightly in any way, shape, or form. I clearly, every single day when I wake up, I have huge recognition to the fact that the air that I have the ability to breathe in our great nation is a result of the sacrifice that has been made by individuals like you. And it is my belief that the greatest sacrifice or the greatest power of service is that sacrificial service that each and every one of you have made for us to have the opportunity to be here and to live in this country. And in having the opportunity to come and be with each and every one of you, I thought back to the time when each and every one of you made the decision to join the Army. And I thought to myself, there was probably a moment in time when each and every one of you had a feeling in your gut that you were tapping into your greatness for the opportunity for the better good of our country. And now, after you have given your service to our country, and now you are in transition, it is a new opportunity to tap back into that courage and back into that greatness that lies within each and every one of you. I have actually faced many obstacles and much adversity in my life. I'll share a little bit about that with you. There's adversity that I face much different than each and every one of you have faced, but I've always believed that oftentimes obstacles can present an opportunity. And I think about a friend of mine named John O'Leary, who when he was nine years old, he blew up his garage playing with a can of gasoline. He was burned on 99% of his body. He was given a half a percent chance of making it through the first night. John O'Leary has gone on to live. He has no hands. He's one of the most sought after speakers in the world today. He's a father of four beautiful children. He has persevered through his obstacle. See, I know that greatness lies within each and every one of you with the next phase in your life, when you take your courage to continue to write the story of your life. I think about John McCain being a prisoner of war, going on to be a prominent senator, running for president of the United States. Greatness lies within you. I think of Rob Ferrara, who I just had the opportunity to meet, who retired two months ago. And he just shared with me that he was shot in the back. He could no longer play hockey and do the things that he once loved. But now he's with Ride to Recovery because he found his passion there. And now he takes that passion to be of service to each and every one of you for his big rides. He'll be Chicago to Detroit. See, greatness lies within each and every one of you. I think about my mother. My mother passed away 11 days before my 8th birthday. I watched her as a single mom, single mom divorced when I was 6 months old, have a disease called amyloidosis eat away at her muscles. No matter how tough her days were, she would journal, purpose in life, combat anything, beat the statistics, beat the odds to live with a disease that is chronic and fatal. She would make it to the dinner table every single night, whether it took one nurse or two nurses, IV stand and toe to make it to the dinner table to look dead square at my brother and to look at me to ask us how our days were at school. 
She helped me understand that you can overcome all obstacles in life. See, I recognize that greatness lies within you. Your success in life will be measured in your ability to get back up one more time than you have been knocked down. And I think back to the next phase that each and every one of you have as you continue to write your stories. The impact that the generation of warriors, each and every one of you will have on this country will be incredible. And the things you will continue to do as you serve the country will be incredible. And if there's one small piece of advice that I could give, it would be to recognize that when you plan for your future, to take it inch by inch. Has anybody seen the movie Any Given Sunday? World famous philosopher Al Pacino, right? He gives that, he gives that great talk when he looks off to his team. Now, I don't have a video of Al Pacino. I'd probably get in trouble because he drops one of the biggest F-bombs in the history of movies, so I don't want to play that. But we'll, we'll have to settle for a second-rate impersonation of Al Pacino by me. Is that fair? <laughs> I'm on the hook now, right? i got to do it. i better do a good job. So Pacino gets down before he imparts to his team. See, this is inch by inch for you in this next phase of your life. We can't say thank you enough as citizens of this great country to each and every one of you. And you have so much more to give because greatness lies in you. And Al Pacino imparts to his team, he got down, and he said, Gentlemen, football is like the game of life. It's about winning, and it's about losing. It's about living, and it's about dying. Sometimes you win an inch, and sometimes you lose an inch. But it all comes down to inches. And in all great prize fights, it's the fighter who's willing to die for that inch that'll win. Now, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Now, I know those words ring true with you because you have made that ultimate sacrifice for us to have our freedom. And I'd say to each and every one of you, every single day, that is your choice to continue to tap into that courage, to continue to make a difference. Because your story is just getting started. You'll continue to take that pen to that paper in the story of your life and continue to leave your legacy. <laughs> the greatest life lesson I ever learned from anybody was from my mom. My mom taught me that it's not how long you live, it is how you choose to live your life. So as an early Christmas gift to each and every one of you, I contacted individuals from coast to coast and we raised money for each and every one of you, 780 books. New copies of the book, Own Your Success, to help you with your journey. There's books in the back. Everybody's going to get a copy of the new book. And it's just an early gift to you as you continue to write the legacies of your lives. And I'd say to each and every one of you, why not you and why not now to continue to tap into that courage, to continue to write the story of your legacy. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you in advance for your continued service. May God continue to bless each and every one of you and your families and go do great things. Thank you for having me. Right, now our next guest speaker is Mr. Robert.